refrain from opening fire inside the Institute. It could jeopardize our entire mission. I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform, and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. Dr. The device doesn't work from ass. over there. You have to be if on the platform. If any harm comes to you, I'm holding you personally responsible. Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. Move out. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter, 60%, 80%. Emitter spiking, but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son.
Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Oh my god. It's really... It's really you. Who are you? Sean, it's... it's me. I'm your mom. Father! What's going on? What's happening? Sean, Daddy's... Daddy's gone, but... but I'm here. Mommy's here now. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh! It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away! Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Please, Sean. I'm your mother. T to talk to me. Just open the door. Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Shot. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to- Uh-huh. I want answers, asshole. Now! Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity, but I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, I am your son. Come on. That's crazy. I assure you, I am completely sane and entirely honest. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. But then you learned that your son was no longer... Is it really so hard to accept that it was... And here I am. It wasn't... It wasn't right. What they... To you, that would certainly seem true. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides. Scientific curiosity, and uh -huh. so they followed the best example thus far. So the weird science experiments needed... In a manner of speaking, the Institute endeavored to create... Plenty of that was available, of course. Even in their attempts to shield themselves, uh -huh. but then the Institute found me after... I was exactly what they needed. I am their father. Through science, we are fed. Sean. It really is. I know you must have questions. Uh-huh. So, you're in- I am the acting director, yes. The Institute. Uh-huh. Doesn't matter what they think. I'm glad. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing. Uh -huh. Just give what else can I say to ease your mind? I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the... I've been a part of something. And now, after... Yes, that's... What... I know. Forgive me. There is much to be done. Right. I'll do whatever. I am glad to hear that. The Institute is now your. Sure. You want to introduce yourself to the division. And finally, Dr. Lee. It's my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. 
Doc? They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. When Father told us... Right. If you don't mind my... I just... Now that you've found... Now. As you might guess, we maintain an up... There's a lot of machine... The work we do, my... Sure. So... No. Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. Take your time. If there's anything else you... Uh-huh. Like... I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. Time to examine my latest reports on Batch 274. Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's. Hi, Doc. I wonder how the Warwick Welcome. family is doing. So good to have you here. Young Dr. Wally Clayton Holt. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for you to see the. Mm -hmm. I look forward to learning. In that case, let me. As the name implies, mm -hmm. our most important. To that end, we've even started to. Mm -hmm. You probably saw the. Seems like there's. With hard work, sure. I'm sure I've taken. I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but. Great. In any case. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care, then. Doctor. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. Actually, I was looking for you. Me? Why? I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. I'm only here with good intentions. You have my word. You're giving me your word? Even though we just met? Fine. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. You should return to the Brotherhood. Even if I wanted to return to them, why would they want me back? The Brotherhood valued your presence, and we'd like you to come back. Well, how sweet of them. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to know about. I don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. <sighs> you really know how to push my buttons, don't you? You know, I never understood why the Institute was so damn selfish. All those innocent people up there, dying. And here I am, surrounded by technology that could make their lives better. Yet we hide down here and insulate ourselves from everything and everyone. It's not right. It's not right. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access. 
with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things to do. Oh, for goodness sake, I can't find my notes anywhere. You all know that Dr. Thompson from facilities has expressed concerns about our father has accomplished so we much. We're well, not violent. No visible reaction. If you know the protocol, sir, authorized personnel only. So, Dr. Ayo. Seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to knock some heads together. We're all looking forward to working their with you. Feet on the target. You're here to, to meet Glad you made it. Maybe I should take some courses with me. You know, send a message. Mm. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between so, us and pretty much all the other here you departments. Are. Just an AO. I'll be up front with you. Despite your relief. I'm sure you No problems here. Good to hear. Now, Father is our primary I'm sure it's better. Certainly. The results could our main instrument coursers hunt they are highly so what i gather you know in fact i'm no stranger to come. even so I suppose right now unless you need uh -huh. i'm good for now thanks very well systems nominal symptom you experience in detail. Most men lack the patience to observe and document the event growth.
Got it. Sensor alert. Yeah. Anomaly detected. Scanner is detecting sensor. Alert level elevated. Yes. I'm in. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got techno- I'm glad you can- Ultimately, all our knowledge- uh -huh. Unfortunately, no advancement comes as remarkable as the superior-
If the synths are... However closely, uh -huh. when you see what I have to show you... Right. A rogue synth. His memories have been mm -hmm. under his lips. Sure. I've dispatched. We'll bring that synth home. That would be best. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? I've convinced her that the Institute is the enemy, not the Brotherhood. Well done, Knight. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, I believe you still possess an important piece of data that Proctor Ingram is eagerly awaiting. I want you to bring it to her immediately. Once again, Knight. You don't fail to impress. Dismissed. How can a machine believe it's alive? You got a new assignment. Yeah, research patrol. <laughs> Baby, Here's your holotape, Proctor. Hope the data on that thing was worth it. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the interceptor would do to you. I wasn't worried. After all, I built the device myself. I have confidence in everything I built, too. But that's because I'll only deal with technology that I understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Hopefully it'll reveal a weakness in their defenses. That would be the best case scenario. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan's scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, I've got a new assignment for you. So, 
I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? He didn't tell me anything. Makes sense. We've been trying to keep it under wraps until the time was right. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. Huh. I wish I had your confidence, because this is not going to be easy. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Hmm. There's got to be a way to solve that. I do all the maintenance on the Pridwin. So, you'd think it'd be a snap. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. <laughs> 